and welcome everybody. It's great to have you online this morning. Uh, I'm very excited to be talking to you guys this morning about this product because there just is a huge opportunity in this market. Uh, so with that, let's get uh, let's get moving forward here, and we'll start talking about the meat and potatoes of this particular thing. Um, Seniors Choice. It is a premier plan. Uh, it's been around in excess of 25 plus years. Many of you may not ever have heard of it, uh, and the simple reason is, is one of the marketing strategies they employ here to keep premium cost in check is to not market it and let the agents be the voice piece for this particular product. So you are the advertisement, but uh, we'll talk a little later about rate increases and why this product uh, is uh, such a uh, an attraction to a lot of employers uh, looking for alternatives in their current retiree health care space. So let's move forward here and take a look at this slide here. Uh, the share of employers sponsoring retiree health care coverage has declined, and uh, I'll let you folks continue to read that. The gist of this is uh, looking at some statistics from the 19, late 1970s, early 1980s. Uh, nationwide, we had almost 70% of employers, both large and small, public and private, offering retiree group health care to their employees. Uh, depending on whose statistics you read in today's numbers, we're in the low 20s to high teens. So everyone uh, is trying to unload the obligation. They don't want the liability, and they're looking for alternatives, and that's where you and I come in. So why are we going to choose Seniors Choice over a traditional MedSup or an MA plan? Uh, let's take a look at the first couple up here, tax benefits, and uh, there's a term below that, FASB and GASB, and I'll explain what those mean. Uh, if you're an employer and you're looking for a tax break, maybe you still want to sponsor this or uh, take full advantage of any opportunity that comes your way from a financial perspective, uh, the tax benefits for this, if you offer up an HRA or even a Section 125 plan, cafeteria plans as they're commonly known, uh, employers do get to, to claim those as a tax break on their, on their balance sheets, and uh, they really appreciate that. Uh, in terms of FASB and GASB, those are just simply uh, governmental rules that apply to accounting principles, and it simply states that an employer moving forward must account for unfunded post-employee retirement uh, benefit liabilities. So if you're looking out there at five-digit premiums for your current employer group health retiree plan, uh, you can do the math with several hundred employees and see that that adds up very quickly, and they have to account for those dollars. So they're definitely looking for alternatives, and Seniors' Choice is definitely that alternative. Uh, seniors' Choice uh, is always guaranteed issue here. There is no underwriting on this product whatsoever. Uh, and that includes folks, uh, employees, if you were to bring it into a group that may have uh, employees that have been retired 10, 15, 20 years, who may have medical issues, who we all know if you're trying to underwrite in a standard uh, Medicare supplement may not pass that underwriting, it does not matter in this plan. So former employees, even who, are, who may have some uh, medical challenges, are going to be able to uh, enroll in this plan, and it's simply just a number of questions, uh, and that's basically your name. Uh, address and uh, how are we going to pay for this. This plan goes everywhere in the country. There is no HMO or PPO network associated with this, so uh, you can move about the country and know that wherever you decide you want to go, you're going to be covered should you have a medical event. Uh, it has a very extensive Part D plan. There's three drug plans that are offered within the plan sets here, uh, one of those being a no donut hole uh, option for those folks who are taking high-end medications. Uh, we have an open enrollment every October, that being that uh, your enrollees in the plan, should they want to change their options, perhaps their deductibles that we'll talk about here shortly, or maybe add some benefits, uh, they're eligible to do that, and those would become effective uh, January 1st. Uh, last one here, and I want to spend just a couple minutes talking about this. We talked about the uh, way that uh, Seniors Choice has chosen to market this, and that's why you don't really see any advertising, no TV ads, uh, no print ads. And the bottom line here is those cost a lot of money to do. So the way you generate uh, payments for those, obviously, is in the premium dollars. Uh, seniors' Choice in the last 10 years, the average rate increase for new business enrollees uh, coming into the plan, folks, has only been 1.3%. Uh, there is no major carrier out there that can even come close to that rate. 
If I look at renewal rates over the past 10 years, uh, it's averaging about 3.1%, and again, uh, there's nobody even close. So that's why the premium stability here is going to be good to you, uh, for you folks to retain this on your book uh, every October when you go to renew with your groups. All right, let's move forward here. All right, let's take a look here. We're going to talk about some plan design. Uh, we're going to talk about, again, some premium flexibility with employers, how that works. There is an optional benefits package available here, uh, a little more on the uh, drug portion of this plan. Our eligibility requirements, uh, we're going to talk about a federal rule called TEFRA, and then we'll get into a little bit of uh, prospecting and uh, how to enroll folks into this thing. And it's actually a very simple process. So uh, let's talk about the flexible plan design here. Oops, let me go back here just a second. There we go. All right. Um, this plan comes, guys and gals, in a uh, uh, it is guaranteed issue. It is nationwide coverage. There are no networks, no referrals. Again, we have full takeover of pre-existing uh, conditions, and that is a day one uh, start. So there is no waiting period. There, there is no pre-ex in this. Uh, it's also going to cover Medicare excess. And uh, let's talk about the optional benefits here. There is no other plan in the country that I am aware of, uh, and if you folks are, please uh, shoot me a, uh, a message here. But uh, we can offer up four benefits here uh, that the enrollees can take advantage of should the group decide to elect any of them. And the nice thing is, is I can offer up one of them, two of them, three of them, or I can give you all four. It just depends on the uh, want and wish of the group. But let's talk about one first of all. Uh, additional skilled nursing, this benefit uh, is basically a short-term care plan and it pays where Medicare stops at day 101 and takes you through days 100 or 365, pays $125 a day, and I can buy that benefit for only $7.38 a month. The next one we can talk about here is private duty nursing, and that's a $100 uh, per eight-hour calendar shift uh, benefit, and we can do 30 shifts a year. So you can see the uh, the uh, benefit there. That's a $3,000 benefit for $8.53 a month. It also offers an at-home recovery option, uh, $40 a visit, seven visits a week, and uh, a $1,600 calendar max. And that one is only $18.74 a month. The last one that's available in the uh, optional benefits package is one that's known as comprehensive wellness. This is an indemnity benefit, so it, uh, deductibles don't apply. It's day one, dollar one coverage. It's $13.63 a month, and if you do the math on that, it offers you up $250 a year for about $168 in premium. Uh, the benefit gives you options to go see your dentist. Uh, maybe you need a physical, um, chronic disease, self-management programs. Maybe you need some alcohol or substance abuse uh, prevention, counseling. Uh, you can do massages and acupuncture, and you simply just submit your uh, receipts to the company, and you'll be reimbursed up to that $250 max. What I want to point out here about this particular package is that there is about – just a little less than $38,000 worth of benefit available in this suite. And it comes into about $568 a year in annual premium. So as you can see, it's very benefit rich, very economically priced. And the one caveat here, folks, is this is guaranteed issue. There is no underwriting here. So for those folks who may have had some challenges with a stroke, uh, maybe have developed Parkinson's, something that we know normally would not pass muster in a short-term care plan underwrite, uh, these folks get to go through the gate and, of course, all the uh, normal triggers for a benefit supply just like they would with a long-term or short-term care plan. But uh, it's an option here that some folks that may be challenged with some physical uh, issues may want to take advantage of. So uh, we like our folks to offer this up when you're presenting this plan and let people know that it does exist. And again, if the folks don't pick this uh, in their initial uh, enrollment period, next October when you get to open enrollment, you can add these. That's one of the flexible features of this plan. Uh, we don't lock you out and create a one plan fits all option. We can add and subtract benefits here as well as we can uh, add and subtract deductibles as well. Uh, if you notice, uh, obviously, we talked about the no donut hole option. Uh, that's a very rich drug plan. It offers fixed co-pays. Uh, so for those folks who have some challenges with high-end medications, 
they certainly uh, can opt into this particular plan and it allows for them to budget on a more consistent basis on a monthly basis. Uh, it does have foreign travel included in it, just as your Medicare uh, supplements would do. And the uh, exciting thing in here, obviously, is there is no lifetime max here. This plan uh, has coverage uh, forever with no dollar limitations. Um, we do have a copay and a no copay plan available. I do want to let you know it has a very solid uh, backing here by Guaranteed Trust Life in Glenview, Illinois. They've been paying claims. Uh, on this particular product as well as their own suite of products for over 80 years. So very stable, uh, very uh, good uh, company on the back end of this plan. Uh, plan administration, there is a third party administrator that deals with all the claims and all the processing here uh, known as Merchant Benefits uh, Administration. They are also the plan owner and the distributor. And obviously, uh, you can see that we are available to get you contracted should you like to jump into the space here and take uh, advantage of a really, really uh, tremendous opportunity that exists now in the, the group retiree health market. Again, uh, we're back to that one. Here we go. Um, Folks, if we go into a copay plan design, uh, and again, we do offer up a no copay plan as well. You notice uh, the charges are very reasonable. Uh, 1020 uh, copays here, $100 emergency room copay, and obviously we'll waive that charge if they're admitted. Uh, for those of you in the Medicare market, that is the most abused senior benefit, and that's why they attach a larger dollar amount to discourage that. Uh, they do want your folks with the minor ailments to try and get to the ready care or the uh, you know, clinics that are on the corner now that we see all over the country. And again, we do cover up to 15% of the maximum allowable charge. So um, countrywide, if we do have providers who are not participating with Medicare and build a 15% reasonable and customary that's allowed by Medicare, uh, we have you covered in that uh, area as well. There are our deductible options, and uh, what's interesting to me, this plan was designed over 25 years ago, not knowing that Medicare Advantage plans were going to become available in the market. And uh, we have 12 deductible options in here. So when we go from a zero deductible up to 4,000, we can continue to drop premium. So for those of you who may be currently working in the group retiree space or bidding against other uh, providers, we're seeing a lot of Medicare Advantage type plans entering the market and they have uh, deductibles up in there. And uh, when we get up into that three, four thousand dollar range, just to give you an idea, it's going to drop the premium on this plan down to around forty or fifty dollars a month. And I can assure you that there's no carrier in the country that can match that rate. So for those folks who are a little price sensitive, trying to uh, control uh, the bottom line on their budgets, uh, we can uh, take you through a variety. Again, twelve deductible options here, and probably find a premium uh, that's suitable to your checkbook. Uh, and uh, also your employer if the employer happens to be the one sponsoring and paying for the plan. If you notice here, uh, the dedu deductible is included in there. And uh, again, one of the most flexible things in here is you're allowed to select every one of those deductible options and your clients can select their own deductible as well. Uh, we don't encourage that in larger groups just from a plan management standpoint, but if you had a group of three or four people and each one wanted to choose, you're more than welcome to do that and they obviously uh, uh, can control their premium costs. Uh, if you get into a large group, maybe they're self-insuring to a point or whatever, we can develop deductibles that do not currently exist. So that would have to have a pre-approval from MBA uh, before we could do that, but we certainly can ask uh, on your behalf to see if we can accommodate that. Okay, I just wanna re revisit here the uh, optional benefits and so you folks can see these online live. There is the four we talked about earlier and uh, Again, these are guaranteed issue benefits. There is no health underwriting. Uh, we currently have groups who have opted into these particular benefits, and we have folks uh, who otherwise were not eligible for care and coverage under current uh, standard short-term care plans or uh, private duty nursing. Um, it's there, and I, folks, I gotta tell you, I've, I've never seen anything like this. This is uh, an amazing option uh, that may put you in the driver's seat with the majority of your, your presentations because uh, for folks that have had these challenges or know 
uh, of uh, people that have had these challenges and could not get that coverage. Um, the benefits here are amazing. Again, this is just slightly less than a $38,000 package in offerings for a little less than $600 a year. Okay, we talked about drugs. Uh, there is the plan set, and I hope everybody can see those. But uh, if you notice on the right-hand screen there, uh, we have the Premier Plan. And this is our No Donut Hole offering, and uh, we have a large number of people who are enrolled in Seniors Choice taking advantage of this particular option due to the fact that they're taking the high-end medications. And uh, you can see there when we get into the Stage 2 initial coverage, um, the generics, the preferred brands and non-preferred brands, and the specialty drugs all maintain a fixed copay amount. So the nice thing here is that your clients can budget on a monthly basis rather than traditional Medicare.gov uh, offered plans uh, for those that have those challenges with high-end medications, knowing you go to the pharmacy and fill up in the first 90 days is going to cost you $3,000 out of your pocket. Uh, that's eliminated here with the Premier Plan. So it's very strong, and uh, again, uh, we encourage our agents to attach that for the larger groups and give these folks an opportunity that may have those challenges. Uh, it's hard for an employer, obviously, to track employees and probably have no clue uh, what type of illnesses or medications are um, uh, on their plan set. So um, again, very, very strong. Another flexible port, uh, part, excuse me, of the Seniors Choice Plan is we do not require you to opt into any of these plans. If you have a small group and a Medicare.gov prescription drug option, uh, is preferred because of what you run on there and they perhaps might get into an Envisions plan or a Silver Script plan or one of the other carriers, you certainly can enroll those folks in there and uh, we're more than happy to accommodate that. Okay, we're going to talk about uh, TEFRA here. Uh, this is a federal law. Uh, it impacts everybody in the group space and uh, TEFRA stands for Tax Equity and Fiscal Responsibility Act. And basically what it's telling us here is we split the magic number here uh, is 20 people. So if you have an employer that has 20 or more full-time or part-time employers, okay, and part-time, as you can see, is 20 or more weeks in the current or preceding year, and they don't have to be consecutive, right? Um, notice also that this requirement is based on the number of employees, not the number of individuals covered under a plan. So with that being said, what happens is if you have group offered employer coverage and they're maintaining it for those folks, what TEFRA means is Medicare is not going to jump in there and pay and be your primary payer on the group. You physically must retire from the plan or be on a part-time basis 20 weeks or less to be eligible for the plan. You'll also notice uh, if some employers maybe offer up to certain groups but not others, uh, retiree health care, then we may bring those folks on, but otherwise they are excluded until they physically uh, sever their relationship uh, with the company. Okay, here's the sweet spot with Seniors Choice when we get underneath 20 employees. So for these small employer groups, uh, age 65 and over full-time employees, the TEFRA rule does not apply. So we can take these folks, we can carve them out, we can put them on the Seniors Choice plan. I will guarantee you we'll lower their premium, we'll lower the group census, and probably lower their under 65 premium as well by doing that and uh, save not only the employee, but if the employer is uh, cost sharing or maybe paying the whole shot, we're gonna save them some dollars as well. So we have a lot of folks that work in the 20 and under employee uh, targeting small employer groups like this, because obviously it's an immediate uh, financial relief for your client and or that employer. And obviously when you folks enroll uh, people into the plan, you're gonna get paid immediately. So let's take a look here and see what this does. And I think you'll like the numbers here when we go through this. Uh, we're going to take a, an example of a 10, uh, 10 group unit here. And we've got uh, the owner who is 65 plus sitting there. And this particular owner, and by the way, this is a real life example. Uh, this particular owner uh, was paying 5,500 for his insurance on this. When we uh, take him down uh, and move him out of there and do a re-quote re on the census, we get a rate of uh, $4,000. 
we take that 4000 and with the Seniors Choice plus the Premier uh, RX, and we get a cost of $4,450. And if you look at the bottom, just by carving the owner out of here who still wants to maintain employment, still wants to work at his family-owned business, a monthly savings of $1,050, and that translates to $12,600 just by carving one individual out of the plan. So you can imagine if you have an employer group of 10, 12, 15, 18 people, the dollar savings here are phenomenal. They total up very quickly. We're well up into six figures uh, for a calendar year. So uh, people do appreciate, obviously, the cost savings, and particularly if an employer is footing the bill here, uh, you guys are going to be their hero. So how do we get you here? Uh, seniors' choice is no different than a traditional Medicare plan. Uh, we need you to be 65 and older. You do have to be enrolled in Parts A and B. Um, again, we talked that anybody who was a former employee uh, of a particular company that may elect uh, to bring this on board, we're going to let you in there. They are not going to ask you to go find a paycheck stub or proof that you were employed. They're simply going to take your word uh, that you were, in fact, a uh, part of that entity. And uh, believe it or not, we can bring your spouses in here as well. Again, uh, this is a federal law. You've got to be retired or on a part-time basis to be eligible for uh, drug, drug coverage. That is a federal requirement. And again, we let the, the uh, former employees and their spouses, uh, we're going to let you through the door without any underwriting if you so choose. Okay, let's talk about prospecting. So who, who can you look for? Uh, who is an opportunity here to maybe put this plan in place? Uh, and you can look down the list here, and we go from some things that are little to big, uh, you know, doctor, dentist office, insurance agents. Yes, you folks are eligible to do this. All you would simply have to do uh, when submitting uh, for enrollment here is submit a copy of your occupational license, and you can bring your agency in here and your spouse and any former employer uh, employees that you may have, and they're welcome to join the plan. And of course, we uh, get down into the municipal space. Uh, for those of you that may have contacts uh, in cities, townships, and villages, there is a large uh, retiree obligation out there, particularly with collective bargaining agreements that exist all over the country. And municipalities are looking for a way uh, to shed these and or uh, control their costs. And Seniors' Choice is obviously a, a golden opportunity uh, for these particular entities. Uh, I don't think anybody in the country that's on our webinar today has not seen, whether it's been on the news or in uh, the newspapers, some uh, municipality or entity who has been financially challenged, uh, particularly uh, one of the bullet points here is large and small business. Uh, we all know what's happened to Ford, GM, and Chrysler uh, going through their bankruptcies and restructurings. and. Uh, we know that they unloaded their retiree obligations, and it's now the employee's responsibility to do that. So uh, we know the opportunity exists out there, and it's just simply uh, waiting for you go, uh, folks to go take uh, advantage of that. Uh, let's take a peek here. How do we get people in here? Okay, Seniors' Choice is a very, very simple employer trust agreement. It's two pages. Uh, one of the caveats here, we talked about flexible employer premium contributions earlier. One of the largest objections you will get from folks is, particularly employers, is I'm not paying for this. Well, we state clearly on the enrollment form uh, who's paying for this and in what percentages. So we can take uh, that objection right off the table with the employer or the HR director right up front. Uh, I encourage my agents to carry the trust agreement with you so that you can show them in black and white that uh, we're not going to make you responsible for anything other than we just need you to sponsor it because it's the way it's filed with the insurance bureaus. Uh, you cannot buy this plan as an individual. It must be sponsored and uh, it's, uh, it's not available to the individual on the open market. Uh, proper documentation, what am I saying by that? We're going to need you to submit along with the trust uh, agreement. We're going to need something like a Schedule C, uh, perhaps your Articles of Incorporation. We just need something uh, that shows that you are a bona fide entity, whether you're an S Corp, C Corp, LLC, uh, association along those lines. We just need something that documents the fact uh, that you have a filed, filed uh, formal company sitting out there. 
Again, uh, when we get to that documentation, uh, there's boxes to check, and uh, we want to be sure that you check all of the uh, deductible boxes on that uh, trust agreement. We want the employees and the employer to have options to all of the cost availability on the plan, and uh, it's something we can adjust every year again in October if they choose to do. Um, as for in getting your clients enrolled, it is a very simple enrollment form. Uh, we just complete that. We get a check made out to Seniors Choice. Uh, that's mailed in, or you can fax uh, the enrollment form to us, but we do ask that you mail the check directly to Seniors Choice. We can scrub those for you and fix them and uh, get them moving forward and get your clients enrolled. So um, it's a very, very simple process, and uh, it's one, uh, one that moves along very, very quickly. Okay. Uh, just uh, want to kind of close things up here a little bit. Um, remember, this is retiree medical. Okay, it is a group retiree medical. It is not an individual product. Um, I can take you down to one body in this particular plan. Uh, there's no other uh, retiree group plan out there that I'm aware of that will allow you to drop to this low of a number. Most of them require 10 to 15 with X number of actives already paying on the book. Seniors Choice does not require that for you to have an active uh, plan in place for your group. All right, uh, we need you folks obviously to be licensed uh, where your employer's domiciled. Um, you can get contracting available through me at Insurance Advisors Direct, and uh, I will give you the contact information uh, once we wrap up here. And uh, if you're going to do marketing material, we do have uh, pre-printed materials and things available through Seniors Choice, including PowerPoints. But uh, if you wanted to customize something, we do have that availability through uh, our agency uh, with our graphics department. Uh, and if you wanted to create custom brochures, we certainly would have to run that through uh, Merchant Benefits to get their approval before uh, we get there. So. Um, with that, with that being, uh, I'm going to uh, take a look here. I've got a few questions here, and I certainly want to get to those. Um, and I have a question here. Can retirees sign up if living in another state? And that is absolutely true. Uh, it does not matter where you live. You can sign up uh, in, the, in the state uh, where the plan was filed, and you can be covered. So an example of that is uh, you retired out of the state of Michigan and have since moved to uh, the sunny state of Florida. You're absolutely eligible to do this, and uh, we encourage you to do that. For your, uh, Let me give you an example here. For you folks that are in the Medicare uh, Advantage space and or MedSup space, we all know that uh, when you leave a planned service area, you're going to get the six-month letter that says you're being disenrolled because of a residency change. That does not happen with Seniors Choice. Uh, once you've signed on and you've enrolled in the state that you lived in, it goes throughout the country, and you will never get that disenrollment letter. One of the other caveats for this is, too, is obviously MedSup uh, premiums can be pricier in the South. The Seniors Choice plan always maintains the premium that was issued in the state where you signed the employer trust agreement. So, again, we eliminate some of the headaches for your retirees when they move. They don't get the six-month disenrollment letter and then the sticker shock when they have to re-enroll in an individual plan. Uh, we take that right out of the equation. Uh, we've got another question here. Can we get a copy of the presentation or slides or, or by email or whatever? And that's absolutely true. Again, as Jason alluded to at the beginning of the uh, webinar, uh, we will be posting this as well up on our YouTube site for you folks to uh, review should you need to do that, or perhaps other agents uh, you may be working with that didn't have an opportunity to attend uh, our webinar. And uh, question, I think I answered this, but we'll hit it again. Uh, what is the minimum number of employees to qualify? Uh, this is a very unique program. I can take you down to one life. So a single sole proprietor uh, would be eligible to uh, sign a trust agreement and come on boards. Um, got another question here. What states, uh, where can you sell this? Seniors Choice is currently available in about 37 states. Uh, and along with that, for the states that are not currently approved to sell, uh, I want to let you know here's another flexible portion of this particular plan. If you are currently working in a state where the plan is not approved, but the company you are soliciting has sister companies in other states that are approved, you are eligible to sign the trust agreement in the approved state 
and all the employees, regardless of the availability in the state or not, would be eligible for the plan and would have full coverage. So we have an opportunity uh, to get you into those places where uh, a state uh, may not be participating in this currently, but we've got a employer that has sister companies in neighboring states that are. Again, we can make that available to those retirees and uh, perhaps lower their cost as well. Uh, I've got a question on how to market the plan. Uh, if you want to uh, post webinar here, just give me a call, and we certainly can have that conversation. We have a number of marketing pieces. Uh, we have things available to you uh, in print uh, that are excellent references and resources for um, you to present to employers as well as employees uh, to answer questions they may have about this plan. So uh, let me look here and see if we have any other questions. And we do not. Uh, so with that, I'm going to kind of wrap this thing up. I don't want to bore you here. But uh, again, uh, as Jason alluded to, we're going to be conducting further trainings. Uh, we will be conducting uh, live training uh, at our facility. And uh, we may be going on the road as well, depending on the demand uh, for the training. And uh, we will also be conducting further webinars on this, some of those very detailed, so we can really uh, delve into this particular product and show you all the working parts and how we can uh, maximize our opportunities. Uh, I have a, a couple more questions real quick. Is the market saturated? And the answer there is no. Uh, why we certainly have large uh, majors out there uh, that work in the uh, group retiree space, there are very few companies that market group retiree products and uh, a lot of them choose not to even work in the smaller group spaces where this has the sweet spot, if you remember, of around 20 or less. So I can take you from one body in this thing uh, to an unlimited number. Uh, it's whatever folks you guys have uh, opportunities to access and uh, try and get them on board with Seniors Choice. And uh, it, it again, it's a, just an unlimited opportunity. Uh, I have a question on commissions. Uh, if you give me a call, we certainly can discuss those. Uh, group commissions, I will tell you this, are typically lower than uh, Medicare Supplement or MedAdvantage. But uh, one of the sweet spots for seniors' choice is as long as these groups are re-enrolling and you keep them on a book in a calendar year, uh, you are being paid forever trail commissions on this particular product. So uh, as an example here, before I conclude the webinar, we have an agent uh, who deals with a large municipality here uh, on the west side of the state uh, who has a group enrolled in Seniors Choice, and that particular group has now been in this plan for over 16 years. So uh, that particular agent is still being paid on that book of business, and uh, he's a very happy camper. So with that, uh, I don't see any more questions. Uh, I'm going to close this out. I want to thank everyone uh, for coming online uh, this morning and spending uh, the last half hour, 40 minutes with me. And uh, if you do have any questions, uh, again, I'll give you my phone number. It is 800-381-0977. My direct extension at Insurance Advisors Direct is 109. And feel free to reach out to me or shoot me an email. My email address is mcovert at iadinsures.com. In fact, let me uh, click back through here, folks, real quick, and we'll get you up and running here. Well, it's not going to play nice for me. There we go. So there I am right there, everyone. And uh, my email address is mcovert at iadinsures.com. Again, feel free to reach out to me, shoot me an email, and I'm happy to answer those questions. Uh, I will be following up with you folks uh, with a phone call as well as an email, and uh, we certainly look forward to talking to you, and uh, we'd love to get you on board and help you get moving in the group retiree space and uh, improve your bottom line. So with that, uh, I'm going to close out now, and uh, again, thank you for coming. Take care, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.